Big news today from the State House: Indiana's economic growth is expected to slow down over the next two years. That's among the headlines from a blockbuster revenue report today. Fox 59 State House reporter Hannah Adamson joining us live at the State House. And Hannah, you spoke with Governor Holcomb about that report, some of the shortfalls, and some of his administration's plan to address these issues. What's he saying today? Well, during today's state budget committee meeting, Indiana economists say the state is on track for a soft landing. In other words, over the next two fiscal years, growth will slow down to account for inflation, but not to the point of a recession. Now, that being said, that report that came out today during the state budget committee meeting shows although revenues exceed the budget plan by roughly $300 million, Indiana will take in nearly $500 million fewer dollars than anticipated in the next two years. Years. The state will also need at least $1 billion it currently doesn't have to cover projected Medicaid costs. Governor Holcomb says this latest revenue forecast demonstrates Indiana's strong employment landscape, but pointed out the Medicaid forecast must be addressed. Bring the game plan forward to the legislature that will consider a number of alternatives, but focused on making sure those who are eligible are receiving those benefits. Now this comes as the IEDC requested nearly $300 million for a number of economic development projects, even though they didn't list the names of any companies attached to those projects. Coming up at 5 and 6, we'll hear from Governor Holcomb about his response and how he anticipates these requests will be received amid these economic shortfalls. Reporting at the State House, Hannah Adamson, Fox 59 News.